Jonathan Cruz, the transfer from the Charlotte 49ers, kicks the football to Jabri Barber. And Barber lets it go over his head. And Troy and brand new head coach John Sumrall. So yeah, three rushes all on first downs and each providing at least three yards. This one's going nowhere though. Tysheem Johnson in the backfield for a loss third down. He's done a good job of marshalling this unit so far. Watson's three for three passing. He will not pass it. Instead, Vidal will run. Nice little design play that gets the football out past the 29-yard line. Defensive front that they've had from a depth standpoint in a long time. Seven carries, 28 yards. Vidal gets crushed in the backfield is Ladarius Tennyson. There's some that are still. I think there's a direct corollary. Listening to that rule 60 years later. Nice play. Zach Evans loses a couple of yards. That's Javon Solomon on the tackle. All day. All day. In there to Mingo, and he makes the catch up to the 34. Plenty of time for Dart to survey the field. Evans. Plenty of running room into the secondary, breaking tackles. And he is tackled inside the 25. Craig Slocum prevented a touchdown. Really nice job. Back-to-back -back snaps by the Rebel up. Bentley, no way. He's hit immediately in the backfield. But he breaks the tackle. It, did he land on the defense and go in? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No whistle. And you could see the Ole Miss players, they realized it almost right away. No whistle. That Stoudermeyer completion from Watson, and now to the backfield they go with Woods, and Kyrie Coleman makes the tackle. It'll be third down, Alyssa. Troy Watson had trouble fielding that snap, and he tried to get it to Tez Johnson, and Johnson tripped. It's going to lose three yards, second down. And why they warmed up in the indoor. Woods, not a prayer. He tried to get the edge. Kyrie Coleman. Son. Coleman for Ole Miss. This guy was an edge rusher at TCU a season. Is in the game on a third and two. And here he is. Wide open spacing to run inside the 35-yard line. Summer on his first game as a head coach in its first and goal at the five. This is a backwards lateral to Mingo. Touchdown, Rebels. Season out of the backfield, the junior from Brandon. That's been the story so far. Jackson Dart making his debut. So is Zach Evans, and Evans turns on the afterburners in Detroit territory. He keeps it himself, and Dart shows off his own speed, breaking tackles inside the 20. <laughs> How about that stiff arm, the would-be stiff arm at the end? Punishing defenders along the way. How about O'Shea Fletcher? You're the free hitter in the hole versus number four. You see four. Troy just two of six on third down. Oh, of their last four facing the pressure here. And that play destined to fail as Otis Reese lowers the boom to put Troy on the board as we go to the break. And a job well done. 21 to 3, Ole Miss the end of the first half. leads Troy. Rebels had 201 yards rushing in the first half. Utilize good field position. Back to Evans again, Zach. Flying down the field past the 35, up to the 44-yard line. Dart pumps, gets hit as he throws. Trig, what a catch! USC. How about the arm strength from Jackson Dart there as well? He could not step into that throw. Rusher right in his. And Carlton Marshall I hadn't called his name a ton. Undersized performer, outsized performance. Dart to the end zone to Malik Heath. Touchdown, Rebels. 
A bullseye to Malik Heath. Ole Miss all over Troy in the opener in Oxford. Interesting race in both divisions is for second place and down. Nice ball. Well, Watson's gotten hot, and that's Barber into Rebel territory down near the 43. Fantastic atmosphere and even better cuisine. It was terrific. Evans tackled and fumbles the ball, and Troy pounces on it. It's the first mistake that Ole Miss has made today from Evans and Evans is fighting for extra yards. See him, he's got that ball in his inside hand as he tries to roll it back. Ball just comes right. Watson turns, fires and it's picked off. Miles battle. The senior from Houston had his first interception in the Sugar Bowl. And as you once said, the square in Oxford is an island of awesome. Dart to the end zone, intercepted. Marquise Colvin stepping in front of that. A spate of turnovers. As you see Dart, he's going there all the way. You are bringing the safety to the football. On second and three, it is Woods into the Ole Miss secondary and into their territory. Watson is 19 of 27, passing for 127 yards. He's in trouble, can't get away, and he's going to go down back at the 32. Problem is Miles Bat Battle, Davison, Igbenosan, A.J. Finley, Ashim Young have covered up. Defenders down the field. This ball is loose. And Ole Miss will get the football back after another failed fourth down by Troy. Did throw an interception to Miles Battle. In the third quarter, he spins out of trouble. Great job completing it inside the 40-yard line to Demontrez Brown. I'm excited to see what we've been talking about transfers so much today, what the transfers in Columbia do tonight. Here is another sack. Coleman. Kyrie Coleman has been living in the backfield today. Oh, my goodness. Helmets come flying off as J.J. Pegues lowers the boom. Now, there is a flag down. Brown gets rid of this one quickly, dumping it off to Vidal. And he is closer to the original line of scrimmage, but the ball comes out. Ishim Young recovers it. Watson under pressure, dumps it off, and it's a touchdown. Ray J. Johnson. Watson under pressure, dumps it off, and it's a touchdown. Ray J. Johnson. We mentioned the toughness of Gunnar Watson. I mean, that ball's a knuckler coming out of there because he was going to get hammered by Otis Reese. Ole Miss has had to replenish most of their roster from the Sugar Bowl performance last year. They lead Troy 28-10. Marcus Rogers climbs the ladder for that catch. When they do have that urgency. Watson drops back and finds a wide open receiver. That's Rajay Johnson that made that touchdown catch a minute ago. He's inside the 35. And on the ESPN app, that's approximately 10.30. Watson, the last thing you can want to do is take a sack, and it's Jared Ivey in there with the land shark. But I'm sure he's going to have something to say about how sloppy this second half was today. Get used to this name, Quinshawn Judkins with another good run. Finishing up, expected to start against Central Arkansas next week, and Judkin, Judkins runs to the 41-yard line. Ole Miss wins the first game in sweltering heat on this Saturday in Oxford by a final of 28-10 to 10 over the Troy Trojans. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.